You know, given the amount of hauls that I usually show you here on this channel, you would think that I've been purchasing a ton of items, but given that I've mostly caught up on all the packages that I've received and everything that I have gotten from my trips to Japan, as well as what I've purchased from overseas, I pretty much caught up with all those boxes. So now I just have items that I have purchased in the last month or two, which honestly is not that much. So I have all sorts of Sailor Moon items in front of me for a merch haul and review. If you are curious about Sailor Moon merchandise and which items you should actually spend your money on, then definitely subscribe because I give you all the reviews and all of them are truthful and unbiased. Let's go ahead and get started. I have some items from Japan as well as Hong Kong and here in America. So I'll start with the items from here in America. First things I picked up were the Sailor Moon manga. This is the newest reprinting of the English Sailor Moon manga. You'll see here that it is a very thick book and I got this from Target. I like buying these from Target because they always have this 20% off deal. So you can get these for less than the market price on them, which is $12.99. So still a relatively good price for books, but if you want something that's a little less expensive and you don't mind the sticker on the front of them, which you can remove extremely safely and carefully, then I would recommend just grabbing them from Target whenever they have them in stock. I believe I'm missing two of these, maybe number six and number five, and then I'll have the full collection up to what is currently released right now at time of recording. I also somehow managed to skip over collecting the Sailor Moon S complete full season Blu-ray. So I did grab one of these as well. Now these newest releases of Sailor Moon complete seasons. They have announced that they are releasing all of them. I believe they are on the last season now, so that's the most current and most up-to-date one that you can snag. But somehow I just never purchased Sailor Moon S, so I went and had to grab this one from Amazon. The nice thing about this newest release, I know we had those beautiful box sets that came out like half a decade ago, but these newest ones have the best masters that you can get of the anime. So these masters are probably the best ones that you can watch currently because they have the most high quality images and imagery that you can see in the anime. The older releases were a little bit problematic because there were problems with missing frames and some frames of mouths that were missing and it was just very weird. There were a lot of weird errors that were seen in the previous Blu-rays that released here in America so this is the best version that you can get. Now I wanted to show you these however I think I'm going to keep them in the box because I don't necessarily need to use them, but these are, I'm going to call them training chopsticks. These are molded PVC chopsticks. I do have some better chopsticks that I have gotten from like Ginza in Tokyo, but these are really, really cute. If you have somebody in your family who is learning how to use chopsticks, this would be a really good option because it comes with this little plastic cosmic heart compact up at the top, and that will hold your two chopsticks together while you pinch them at the very ends. That way you can easily learn how to use chopsticks before you actually go out and purchase some really nice ones that you can carry around with you, uh, which is what I do because I'm a weirdo. I don't like using those weird wooden chopsticks that are super inexpensive and cheap that you get from like every Asian restaurant here in America. I like having my own really nice like wooden chopsticks that don't have a whole bunch of uh, frayed pieces of wood down at the bottom. I like mine nice and polished. I'm a chopstick weirdo, I guess. <laughs> I'm fancy with my chopsticks, okay? Another thing I like to be fancy with is my bottle openers. <laughs> now I have the previous bottle opener of this that came out in a subscription box. I think it was Loot Crate years and years ago, but we got a re-release through Box Lunch. So this is the re-release version of the bottle opener. It's pretty much the exact same thing, but now I have one that I can keep in the packaging as like a backup. This is a very pretty two-sided, bottle opener. And I will say from experience, these work really great. I use this thing all the time whenever I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> they are super handy for your nice bottles of beer that come with the pop-off tops that you can't necessarily unscrew. So these are really excellent for those. And and I, I do love being able to pop open a, a bottle of beer with a Sailor Moon bottle opener. It's very nerdy <laughs> and I very much enjoy it whenever I have a barbecue and I can just bring out the Moonstick bottle opener. I also purchased a small box of items from a reseller over in China. These are just 
just a few items that I got from them. So this is a transportation card. I know it just looks like a cosmic heart brooch, but it actually can be used to scan your wallet or scan your card whenever you're going to these, I guess these train stations in Hong Kong. I think these can be used in Hong Kong. Now, obviously I don't live there, so I wanted to purchase this mainly for my collection. But if I ever do make my way over there, I'm gonna figure out how to set this up so that I can scan it whenever I'm going to train stations. Cause I think that would be really, really fun. This is a vintage scarf that this reseller was selling on their in hand Instagram page. So I ended up grabbing this because I really like the little piece of embroidery artwork that we have at the bottom of the scarf and it's red. Usually we have scarves from Sailor Moon that are like silk and pink or a light blue. We don't have anything that's red. So I was pretty excited to have a nice red scarf in my collection that was a little bit different, a bit unique. In this case, it still has the tag and I do have the bag for this. I just took it out for the for the video, but we have a Sailor Moon Stars tag right there. And then of course, this is a licensed product. So we have the Toei sticker on the back. And here's a close up of that really pretty embroidery art. This is obviously from the 1990s. Luckily, it does not smell bad. It smells brand new. So whoever had kept this thing for such a long time really took care of it. And I'm very happy to see that. This item is a face mask, which I'm most likely never going to use because the packaging for it is so cute. Apparently, you put this face mask on your eyelids and you leave it there. OK, I'm going to show you the packaging for this because I had no idea what it was. But this is another vintage item and I purchased it because I wanted to find out what it was. I do that sometimes where I don't know exactly what an item is or what it's used for. And I wanted to purchase it so that I can learn about these items as well as tell you a little bit more about what is out there. So this is what the packaging looked like for this specific item. And it turns out it's actually these little miniature posters that come with plastic frames. So each of these posters, there's a collection of them. And these are vintage items that you could get in a little packaging piece like this. On the back, we have an image of all the different posters that you can collect along with the Toei animation sticker for the licensed item. So I had no idea what I was doing when I put this together, but I did figure it out. Yay. Here you can see the plastic frame that goes around this poster. The poster is folded up, so you do have to flatten it out yourself and you can still see some wrinkles in mine, but up at the top, you get this little hanger. So you have a hole up here so you can hang this using a nail and you can stick this up on your wall or you could just display it by leaning it up against a wall it doesn't really matter you have a lot of options it is two-sided so here's the back of it it almost looks like a trading card which I really appreciated and I also like how clear and how beautiful the print is on both sides it's a very very pretty piece of art and it looks really cool. It's such a unique piece that I have never seen. Okay, now we're moving on to all the newer items that I have gotten from the fan club and the Sailor Moon store. Everything you will see here has been released in the last couple of months. So much of this is still in stock to this day at time of recording. I saw this at the Sailor Moon store. I kind of regretted not purchasing it. So I just went on the Sailor Moon store website and picked one up so that I could add it to my collection and actually use it. This is an embroidery pouch and it's almost like a carpety material, but this is a pouch. You can use it for pretty much anything. It's a really big pouch, plenty of room. And I do appreciate that on the inside, there is a little mini pocket there as well that you can put your little necessities in. And then of course we have the big pink interior pocket. It is made really well and it's kind of soft. It's like that satisfying material that you can just like calmly touch. It just feels very nice. It's very calming. <laughs> okay, this is another item that I saw in person at the Sailor Moon store kind of regretted it. So I ended up going online and purchasing it. And it's always this artwork, I feel like. But here we have this very cute wallet of Usagi and Chibiusa. When I saw this in person, I immediately thought like, oh my gosh, this looks like an old CRT television set. You have the box up here, the display. And then down here, you have the little buttons to switch your channel. It totally looks like a vintage television. I really like that. I love the imagery. I love the high quality print of the two characters on the front of this wallet. And it's a good wallet. It's very nice, very big. There's plenty of pockets for all your things. 
I love that it has a big space for bills. And on the outside, there's also a little button compartment for your coins. So this would be very, very easy to use if you are taking this to Japan, for example. Uh, one of my friends purchased one too, and she was like, this is perfect for Japan because you get so many coins. And this is a great way to organize your coins. So this is definitely a wallet that I'm going to use as opposed to one that I'm just gonna put in my collection. So here in front of me, I have a series of five different omamoris or shrine charms. The Sailor Moon store came out with these shrine charms and the only one I purchased in person when I went there in, I wanna say April, was one that features Makoto and Ami-chan. The rest of these feature all the other remaining Sailor Guardians. So here we have one of Chibi Moon and you'll notice that the yarn that they used is this very beautiful shiny material. So it's really pretty to see. Uh, where's the other inner Sailor Guardians? There they are. We also have this one of Rei and Minako, really beautiful. This pink one features Princess Serenity, again, gorgeous. This one looks, the color is almost matching the one of Makoto and Ami-chan, but this one has Haruka and Michiru. And last, and certainly my favorite one, this is my personal favorite one. I think it's beautiful, and these are two of my favorite guardians in the entirety of the Sailor Guardians. This one features Pluto, Setsuna, and Saturn or Hotaru. I think they look so good together and I really like this purple shrine charm. It is beautiful. These are really gorgeous. They sold out so fast online. Luckily the fan club was able to restock them so I do have access to them now. But man, when they first came out, I was so stressed out. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get them at all. I'm really happy that I have the full set of six now, including these five. They're so pretty. If you're unfamiliar with shrine charms, oftentimes you can find these charms at shrines and temples, and they will often mean different things. Like I have a charm in my car, which is for good luck and safety with transportation. I have another one in my wallet, which is for financial good luck. I have another one that's sitting in my studio that is for work good luck. So all of these are like good luck charms that you can purchase for friends or family or for yourself. And they're supposed to bring you good energy and good luck. And I love that they are something that's traditionally Japanese and something that also has a bit of that anime aesthetic to it. The ones I have sitting around my house right now are much more traditional shrine charms. So these are some of the few that I have that are actually anime charms. So I think they're so cool. <laughs> now, earlier this year, I did show you a few different items that I had purchased from the Sailor Moon store along their like tumbler and mug set that they just released but now we have a few more so you already saw the three other tumblers that i had collected in this set but we have another stainless steel tumbler that came out just for the fan club so this one did come out as a pink gradient for the sailor moon store but if you wanted to collect the same artwork with a blue gradient which honestly i think this one is prettier then you could grab that from the Sailor Moon fan club. So this was only released, I believe, to the Japanese fan club. So you do have to have a Japanese fan club account in order to purchase one, or you gotta know somebody like me who can purchase them for you. I also picked up a couple of mugs, which I think are really pretty. This one, unfortunately, is a little bit pixelated, like the art DPI, the print setting is a little bit too low. So it's not as clear quality as I would prefer, but from a distance, it looks really nice. And I think this will look really beautiful on display right next to the art book because it features the same exact art. So here we have this gorgeous art of the inner Sailor Guardians and you turn the mug around and you have the outers on the back of it. Now, as you can see, the print quality is pretty low but I think it does look really good whenever you're looking at this from a distance. It is kind of hard to tell how low that print quality is when I'm showing it on camera, but uh, trust me when I say they do look a little bit blurry. On the other hand, we also got this really pretty mug of the brand new Sailor Moon Store logo. Now they did go through a whole bunch of renovations earlier this year. They shut down the Sailor Moon Store in Harajuku, and when they reopened, it was this beautiful, like acrylic, shiny, rainbowy, beautiful store. I love it so much. I want to do a review for you because I took a ton of photos when I was there, but now we have a logo mug. So this mug is super cute. It is white again, and we have Sailor Moon silhouette with this rainbow gradient, and it says Sailor Moon store Tokyo. Very cute. 
such a perfect piece for my collection. Now I think all of these are hand wash only, so they're not something that I'll be able to put in the dishwasher, but they did come in their own boxes, so I'll be able to clarify that for you. The Sailor Moon store has been all about these acrylic Aurora items, and to match that aesthetic is this brand new holographic logo keychain. This again is a acrylic keychain. It is in that beautiful like Aurora setting. So you get this beautiful rainbowy acrylic that it's printed on. And this is the brand new logo for the renovation. It's really pretty. I should have gotten two of these. Maybe I will. Maybe I should order another one so that I can actually use this and put it on my keychain because it's it's really pretty. I want to use it, but I also don't want to destroy it. Uh, always gotta buy two. I always forget. <sighs> this book right here is about 1600 yen. And if you're an artist, you would probably love this. This is a sketchbook. It features the artwork on the front for the art book. It is by this company called Croquis. Crocus. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> this was made in Japan by a company called Maruman. On the back of it, again, we have the outer Sailor Guardians and it's a very, very nice print. So we get this really beautiful artwork on both sides and it is a sketchbook. So this is not lined paper whatsoever. And each of these pages is relatively thin but this would be perfect for somebody who is an artist. So if you're somebody that does a lot of sketch work, a lot of drawing, you would probably really enjoy having this in your collection. Okay, I have a few blind bags as well as some beautiful items from the Sailor Moon Cosmos movie. I also picked up this little box. So this company called Myla or Mela, they actually did a collaboration with Sailor Moon and announced and released a series of shoes as well as a series of jewelry. Now, I actually thought the shoes were a little bit too gaudy for my, for my aesthetic and my general attire. Um, one of the pair kind of reminded me of Beetlejuice in a weird way. I know that's weird to say, Please don't take offense. That's just my personal opinion of how the shoes looked. Some people can really pull them off and I don't think I'm that person, but they kind of look like Beetlejuice shoes. I'll show you a picture here, but I decided to grab some jewelry. So I grabbed the Sailor Moon jewelry and this is a pair of earrings. Uh, one reason I wanted this is because the box itself is really beautiful to display. And you also have this gorgeous artwork of the Inner Sailor Guardians on the inside of the box. Even the back of the box has artwork on it. It's so beautiful. And it comes with a display. So you can actually stand up this display. It's like a frame. You can stand this up and display your new earrings. This whole thing, the presentation, is really, really high quality. I was very, very impressed when I was looking at this at the Sailor Moon store. So then I saw it online and well, I kind of had to get at least one pair of earrings. I enjoy having things from each collaboration. So each of the earrings came in its own velvety textured bag. These bags are really, really nice. And the earrings themselves are pretty big, but they're really pretty. So each of the Sailor Guardian sets from Mela came with two different pairs of earrings. I got the pierced versions of these earrings. However, they did also have clip-ons. These are the longer earrings that you could purchase. There's a pair of two. These feature a moon, a little crescent moon on the danglies. They're very, very beautiful. Here's a close-up of these. So up at the top, we have a bow that has some stripes on it, hence the Beetlejuice vibes that I got from the shoes. Then we have the crescent moon with a whole bunch of pearls. And down at the bottom, we have this really pretty little gold stone. Even though they're so long, they're pretty lightweight, so I don't think they will wear down your ears very much if you do choose to wear them, but I will probably be displaying those. I also got the pierced earrings in these. This is the Eternal Moon article as a pair of earrings. So these are very, very shiny, really sparkly. I love the big gemstones that you get in these. Here's one of them up close. So we do have gemstones for each of the Sailor Guardians featured on the front of the Eternal Moon article. The wings are kind of pearlescent. And then down at the bottom, we have this very pretty little pink stone. Very pretty overall. And again, they're not super heavy. So I feel like these wouldn't wear you down too much. So given that I've never purchased anything from Myla before or Mela, I was pretty impressed by what I received in the mail. I thought they were very, very pretty. Uh, they are kind of expensive. It's more of a premium brand. So keep that in mind if you do want to purchase these earrings yourself. But I do think the presentation is gorgeous. And I think in a collection setting, these would be so beautiful. 
beautiful. I've got two sets of postcards. These are from the same collection series. This is from the wedding collection. So let me open these. Each of these postcards does come with a backing that has the Sailor Moon Store logo on them. And then on the front, we have gold foil on the Usagi and Mamo-chan postcard. Then we have the inner Sailor Guardian. So here we have Ami-chan, we have Rei, she's gorgeous. Makoto, and I love how her hair is dressed. So pretty. And Minako. Here's the other set. This first one features all of the Sailor Guardians with some silver foiling around them. Did I say silver for the last one? Because if I didn't, it was silver foil, not gold. Then we have Haruka, so pretty. Michiru, amazing, looks like a princess. Setsuna, gosh, she looks royal. And Hotaru, she's so cute. These are so adorable. What a beautiful set of postcards. These are really pretty. And last but not least, I have two pairs of blind bags. Now this first set of blind bags, I believe is actually a full set. So I should have each of the characters. The other ones are not a full set. I ordered each of these singularly. So I probably have duplicates, but I wanna open these on camera with you and find out which ones we got. So I have, these are actually from the wedding set again. So these should be the same artwork as the postcards. And how many did I order? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I ordered 10, which would be one for each character if they were sold as a set, but they were not. So let's find out which ones we got. I really hope I at least got a decent assortment because if I got like five of the same one, I'd be so disappointed. <laughs> okay, first we have oh, Setsuna, she's so pretty. Ooh, that's gonna look really, really pretty on my studio collection table. I have a whole area dedicated to each of the Sailor Guardians. So I think this will look really pretty in Sailor Pluto's section. Okay, so we got Pluto. Each of these is surrounded by cardboard, so there's no real good way to guess who you got. Who'd we get? Uh, looks like Amy. Okay. Oh, she's cute. Love her hair. It's very dressy. And I like these little stands that they're coming with. Oh, this one is... Oh, Mamoru! Yeah, Mamo-chan. Oh, he's so handsome. I have such an anime crush on Mamo-chan. He's so cute. I got Hotaru. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, here's Hotaru. She looks adorable. Also like her stand as well. She's so tiny. She's little, little bitty thing compared to Setsuna, who's a little bit bigger than her. That's a little acrylic stand. All right, who is next? We got Michiru. Ooh, she's very pretty. I really like her dress. There's Michiru and her stand. It's kind of easy to tell which ones I'm getting because their stands give it away, even though they're all upside down when I take them out. The stand colors, man, give them away. Oh yeah. Okay, I got Haruka. Here's Haruka, she's gorgeous. That is a very, very pretty Haruka. Oh, they're so pretty. Who am I missing? Inner Sailor Guardians. I have all the outers, so I need Chibi Moon, Usagi, and I need the rest of the Inner Sailor Guardians. Oh, I got Rei. Oh, yay, this is fun. There's Sailor Mars. We got Rey. She's beautiful. All right, we got three left. I got another Amy. Oh, okay, so we got our first duplicate. This one of Amy Chan. She is very cute though. Very, very cute. So I will be reselling that one. If there's any Amy Chan Sailor Mercury fans out there. Next we have, oh, it's another Haruka. There's Haruka. Got Haruka again. Okay, we got one left. One left, and I'm missing Usagi, Minako, Makoto, and Chibiusa, which I'm assuming Chibiusa is a part of this collection. I got another Mamoru. There's Mamoru. Okay, so all in all, I'm only missing four of them, and that is three or four. That is not bad whatsoever. That's a pretty good collection for blind bags. Pretty good pulls there. So you may be wondering, what do I do if I'm missing some of a collection and I do wanna collect the full set? Usually what I'll do is hop on Zen Market or Mercari and see if I can find a reseller who is selling them for a reasonable cost. Generally, when it comes to acrylic stands, I can find these for very, very little over retail prices. So I don't mind purchasing them secondhand. Okay. Last but not least, I have a whole series of 10 
of these blind bags. So these are actually little cases. These are little tin cases and they feature artwork on the top of them. No artwork on the bottom. They're just simple silver and they're sliding cases. So you can slide them open like so and then you can slide them closed like that. So these are great for putting little items in, little papers, maybe if you have miniature dice, you could put them in here. I could take this to a Renaissance fair and put all my trinkets in here. Uh, you could even put like a little bit of cash in here and then hide it away. So pretty much whatever you want to, you can use these little cans, these little aluminum cans for whatever you need. So since I got the full set, I'm gonna go ahead and open all these blind bags and show you each of them. So you already saw Sailor Moon, I will show you these in order of their appearances. So here we have Sailor Mercury, looks awesome. I love how shiny these are too, they're very pretty. Sailor Mars, really good artwork of Sailor Mars. Sailor Jupiter, beautiful. And then we have Sailor Venus, she's so cute. Next we have Chibiusa, <laughs> so adorable. Who was introduced next? There's Sailor Pluto. Sailor Pluto looks awesome. Then we have these two ladies who were introduced together in the show. We have Uranus and Neptune. Beautiful. And last, definitely not least, Sailor Saturn. She's so cute. I love these cases. They're so cool. I wasn't sure like what I would use them for, but to display, I think these will be really nice on each of the character shelves that I have set up behind me which I have yet to show you. So that wraps up everything that I have purchased in the last couple of months. I know it was a long one, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the merchandise that I showed you here today, don't forget to leave your comments down below. I'm more than happy to answer those. And if you wanna see some hauls that my friend recently brought home from Japan for me, then stick around because those videos are up on my YouTube channel too. So don't forget to subscribe so you can see those as well. I have some really fun reviews coming up very shortly, including a couple of new figures. I have a doll that I wanna show you. I also have a proplica that I need to finally get out of the box. So I'm very excited to give you an overview of everything else that I have purchased recently for my collection. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Jane.